Hey everybody, welcome to Next Commentary, playing Fizz mid against Syndra. It's actually Palafox, who is an academy player. One of the probably better academy mids, if not the best. It's actually pretty fucking good at mid lane. And I'm also against Nightblue 3, and Elise player is actually... Um... Grigne? Grigne. Nice, good, good take. I'm gonna reset here. Swap back. Get back my ward. I did the ghost poro thing where you put down a ward and then uh, you swap to sweeper because I have ghost poro and then it'll give me a stack of ghost poro, level one. <clears throat> Okay, versus Syndra, you don't want to push in. You want her to push you in. And the better players will do that. So she... Because if she pushes in towards you... um, Or you push in towards her, it's actually going to be pretty difficult for you to harass... uh, Or fix the wave, basically. Fixing the wave and harassing her is much more difficult if it's pushing towards her. So... I'm just gonna do one poke and leave. I, I know that will still hit me, but it's okay because she went Dorans. Oh, ouch. Okay, cool, I dodged that one, so at least I got that going. To be honest, actually, I don't care if it's like slow pushing towards her just a little bit. I think it's still slow pushing towards me. I was just about to say that because how did I reach level two first? Be sure to use your E often, by the way. It's better for you to use your E than not. <laughs> Because sometimes I'm stuck under tower and I'm super low, I'm like, why do I have so much mana? I guess I should have been spending it more, so... Try to spend it more often, and you will be behind in farm, by the way. Like, 110%. Nice, that was really good trade for us. Easy clap. Easy clap. With Kindred coming by, uh, I mean, I just flashed on her because I knew she would flash. I need a reset here because she's going to TP back. So I'll just reset here. I'm gonna lose some creeps, but it's okay. I'll be able to still collect quite a few of them. I guess I went too early, or it was warded. Either one. Let's not go boots this time. Let's just go more damage. Yeah, but you should normally be behind uh, NCS versus Syndra. Just to let you guys know. And I probably still am, despite killing her here like I'm down 5 CS that's normal don't don't worry about it all you need to do is not be behind in um experience if you're not behind in experience you're gonna be fine and luckily you can get a kill versus cinder if you have your jungler gank early on that's pretty standard if you kill her solo kill her then she really made a mistake damn she's just just out of range of my Q there now though that boot spy is looking pretty good Okay, we see Echo. I think I just want to shove in here. And just reset. Or not reset, but look to roam or something. It's really hard to kill her under tower and, like, pressure her here. We're looking for his Gromp right now because we pushed in together, so we're roaming together. It's already gone, so I'm just gonna back off. She's completely Oom here, so I can freeze this wave that she's trying to shove in. You see how Oom she is? So I can just freeze this. So she'll miss a bunch of creeps here. Oh, there's a ward here too.
This might actually make it so the CS lead is no longer in her favor. It will be even. When you're really healthy, you can, like, freeze waves despite taking a ton of damage. Yeah, so she got three creeps. I don't know how many of these I can take because, honestly, she might play super aggressive here, so... Oh, am I dead? No. Please don't. Stop. Okay, I'm not dead. But that hurt. Please have mercy on my soul. What the fuck? No, did mid DC? What the hell? <laughs> Looks like Nautilus is hovering mid, so I can't just ulti this guy because if I do, I probably won't be able to kill him with the other people being nearby. I might be able to solo kill him if I had uh, my item. Did you reset? Don't use your E when pushing out, by the way. Sometimes they stay, and then as soon as you use your E, they appear. It's a really bad habit to get into. So don't use your E to wave clear. Like, imagine I use my E, echo appears. Boom, I'm dead. See you later. Legit. Okay, so first building, protobelt, pretty standard build. You just go protobelt into Lich Bane or Zanyas or something and you'll be fine. Um, I kind of want to play off of getting a gank because I didn't take ignite. That's, that's when you don't take ignite, you lose a lot of kill pressure. I, I kind of need another person to one shot him with me, unless he's like really far up in the lane, of course, or if I chunk him a little bit earlier, because if I don't get any help, then it's a little difficult. I'm not pressing my E until I see him start casting his E. So right there, I was waiting. Fuck. Uh, I didn't want to E because he would just flash away, so I was waiting. This is actually really good pressure for me, by the way. I couldn't kill him if he sh appears. I'll just flash W and he'll be dead. WQ. Uh, otherwise, he misses all these creeps, and then I save my E here. Did he back? Fuck. What was that ward? Hello? I think he backed. So, I should be able to use my E here to wave clear these. I should be safe enough. One more auto. And yeah, I think I got it. I got the play right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, not bad. I didn't get her flash or anything, but I was able to make her miss CS, right? It's not always about killing your opponent. Um. In lower elo, I guarantee, platinum and less, the cinder would have stayed. And I would just flash uh, Q and W, and then I would use my E to escape afterwards. But inside high elo, people will not allow free deaths to happen. That guy needs to back right now. He's going to die to Syndra. Oh, he's fucked. That wouldn't have not been worth it. I'm pretty sure if I ulti that guy, nothing would have happened. I can't just one-shot him. And also, Kindred was like here, and I would have ultied him here. That's so far away. Might be able to catch these guys though, maybe.
Should win this fight really hard. We can kill this guy too. I'll tank first, obviously. Okay, never mind. He's just gonna try to run away. I should be able to catch him. Oh, nice. Uh, I don't think we'll lose tower here. Oh, okay. He's TPing mid. Okay, I don't need to TP anymore because he's doing it, so I'm not going to do it here. <sighs> Grigne versus... Um, Spica. I'm not going that way. <laughs> Fuck. Using your protobelt to gap close to harass people is really effective, by the way. To poke people. And I need a poker before I can one-shot her. Oh, that didn't even clear the wave. Whoops. I needed the wave to crash. That's all I was focused on. What are we doing? Okay. It's kind of weird, but whatever. Cinder might be inside that brush. I'm not going that way because there are three people mid. So do you see that they're losing a bunch of stuff bought? So that means all I have to do when your team is making a play on the other side of the map, like it's really important to not die and not in. I know that I'm fed and all and like I can kill this guy and stuff, but... Yeah. So. Fuck. My creep. I think I should just ulti this guy when I'm 11, by the way, just to make it so I could burn some of his cooldowns. Maybe I've been playing this a little bit too passive, but I'm not sure. Oh no. Ah, oh, Cinder's dead. 100%. My bad. I was not thinking about Jinx Soul. Oh, she's not dead? I was wrong? Okay, she's dead. Oh my god. Kindred. She's crazy. She still has ulti, by the way. These guys are really playing aggressive. Is he dead? Nice. Oh, blabber. I literally went on twitch.tv. Might be able to dive whoever comes here. I think Cinder used her flash, so... Uh, I'm not going to go because it would be overkill, and Jinx should have seen it coming with Lucian rotating, but whatever. Uh, I can just ulti this guy, and we could probably kill. If I have anybody else here with me, we can go. Notice how far she plays back when I'm not using my cooldowns like my E and my Q. That's about, like, sometimes it's better to not use your spells to create pressure than it is to actually use them. Fuck. I'm almost level 11 here. I still want to ulti her so bad.
Okay. I got the cannon. That's all I wanted. They were both looking for me to go on the cannon with my Q. It's kind of funny. Dude, I swear they're sitting inside this brush. Should I face check it? Where do they go? Sinner's going Archangels, which is a pretty interesting build path. I wonder if that's because I'm playing Fizz? Because the Archangel passive is extremely good against Fizz. As soon as my teammates are around, you can just immediately ult. It's so easy to kill Cinder when you have your teammates around. Honestly, I might have not been pinging for it that often this game, but... You saw that I used full combo there, basically, and I wasn't able to one-shot her. Of course, you can use it just to pressure people, too. And that's something that I guess I could have done more this game, if you think about it. I could have maybe just used my ulti just to pressure her before I got chunked, and then that would have maybe enabled better dives later on without having to use my ulti. So, it's, because it's not like I just need to use my ulti every single time that we fight, right? So... <sighs> He still has ulti here. I don't know if we should chase. I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna reset here and buy my item. It's pretty diff- look how tanky this guy is. He can definitely fuck us up, so. Hmm. Actually, I only need like 30 more gold here, so I'm just gonna wait, it's fine. And then I'll go to side lane right after. With with my current build now, I will be able to one-shot her, by the way. Of course, if, if you're fed, you can one-shot her, but I knew that my damage wouldn't be enough to one-shot her, and I guess I'm fo I'm tunnel-visioning so hard on one-shotting her that uh, I am not using it to chunk where I probably should during laning phase, especially when she's pushing towards me, and there's definitely opportunities where I can uh, go for her. Alright, I don't know if I can kill this guy. I can, like, make him ulti, though. Like, I for sure can make him ult. Also, he just uses W. That's that's huge, dude. Using his W is fucking bad. Oof, you're in an awful situation, my guy. Oh wait, she died. Maybe I needed to use my ult. Uh, my bad. Jesus Christ. Oh, Cinder's here. Oh, I got it. <laughs> oh, that's still tanking. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, gosh. I missed my auto attack on her. I could have also flashed over the wall and then used my E afterwards, but... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I got the blue. <laughs> but I missed my auto attack later. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so the first Q went on. Maybe it should have not went on uh, the blue buff. Now that I think about it, if it actually went on her, I think it would have probably been better. FPS dropping too much. Let's end. All right. I have TP in 14. <clears throat> I hope my team doesn't... Uh, fight too hard here because Cinder's gonna arrive there before me because it's her base but hey I mean if my team can just win on their own like more power to them dude I was a little bit nervous but all right they're all dead yeah. actually this this game is just over oh I'm not tanking here, so I can keep going. Can I have help?
Teamwork. By the way, he eat the Lucian. He probably didn't think Lucian was about to dash over the wall. <laughs> this is a pretty fun game. My games recently haven't been that fun. I think this one's pretty fun. Even if I lost this game, I wouldn't care. I don't know why he keeps saying blabber. Alright, so I'm gonna go with split push because I have TP now. And when I do have TP on any mid laner, it doesn't matter if you're Fizz or not. And also, just because I'm taking TP versus Cinder, I'm just trying it out. I'm not saying that TP is going to be better than Ignite. It's just what I'm playing this game, right? So, um, But because I have TP, I can now split push and just join the fight whenever. Whenever. That took forever to find the fucking war, dude. Alright, it looks like my team has already won the game. This guy is actually disgustingly fed. What the... That is gross. Can we just kill this guy? Bye. See you later. It seems that my team has gotten so far ahead to the point that no macro play is needed for this game at this point. So we're just going to take this tower and uh, call you back. Because they're all respawned now, so. Don't want to die. I have Baron buff. It should be fast enough just right here that I can just reset pretty safely. Get a quicker reset off, thus making me on the map sooner. So we can go do something else. Let's just dive. I'm just going to shark. Uh, probably Jinx. Uh, whenever you're playing Fizz, make sure you're always pressing tab to update the items. Before I'm just like, if I didn't press tab there, I'd say, oh, maybe I can ulti the Syndra or I can ulti the Jinx. Press tab. You see that there's a Zani's Hourglass. So I know that, all right, I'm not going to be ulting her actually because it's not going to work. It's not going to work on her. So. That's what you get for taking my fucking blue. So it looks like we went to 131. I'm fine with that. We have me bot, Mordecai's the top, three mid. All they have to do is not get engaged on, and if, even if they do, I think we'll be good enough that we can, uh. Help out. Just kill her because she's the only person that matters. And the game's over, for sure. Uh, this guy's just dead, probably. Yeah. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary, learned something about playing Fizz against Syndra. Overall game plan. I had a game plan, of course. I said some of the mistakes that I made this game too. During the early game, play, try to play passive, try to give up a lot of farm because you don't want to get chunked early because that's when Syndra can actually beat Fizz because Syndra can beat Fizz. So make sure that you don't get chunked early on, so you can um, become strong once you're level 6, and then you can kill her on your... Uh, whenever you have your fish, basically. And also you can call over your jungler, try to use pings often when you're playing Fizz too. And I'll see you guys next time.